Okay. Back with you, fellow pilots and aviators. We're currently at uh, flight level 220, direct Atlantic intersection. Destination is Omaha, Oscar Mike Alpha. We're about 28 minutes from Atlantic intersection, and we're doing the Atlantic one arrival into Omaha. Okay. Yep. Since we're getting close to the airport, let's attempt to get the ATIS. The ATIS is 120.40. Select here. Runway 18. Let's write it down. Runway 4, right 3, 2, left. Air barrier ramp uncontrolled. Foot ramp called NOD. Require to drive on initial contact. You have information, Papa. Okay, we have Papa. Airfield arrival blank with our share information pop up. Zero zero five two zero. Wind three three zero and four. Visibility one zero. You cloud and two five thousand. Temperature two. Two point minus four. Altimeter three zero one zero. Visual approach three two left. Three two driving you. Notice to air man. Runway one eight. Three six close. Actuate Bravo close east of runway one four right three two left. Air carrier ramp uncontrolled. First man called not required to drive on initial contact. You have information pop up. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me read you what I got for the ATIS and we'll confirm and make sure we All have right, the... So I got top information. Correct. Runway three two left landing. Runway eighteen thirty six is closed. Altimeter setting is 3010, wind 33084. And visibility is 10, clear. 154 kilo, contact point approach, 123.9, good day. And uh, it looks like it's about 20 minutes old. Have a good night. Just about 20 minutes old, so it's pretty current. So the wind is 3304, we're going to be using runway 32 left or 32 right. What's better for us to taxi to signature? Let's take a look. Uh, so we have 33 three left or 33 three right. Okay. Three three I right. think 32 right. Contact Chicago Center 135. Let's request 32 right. He's probably going to ask us say uh, say approach request and request a visual approach 32 right, and we'll back it up with the ILS 32 right. I got it. And it's going to be a right turn out of 32 right over to the terminal, which is here. Correct. Okay, altimeter setting, you got a 3010? Zero, zero. Yeah, that's when we just transition on the descent, we're going to put 3020. Zero, 3010. Zero. Zero, zero. And you got runway 18 and 36 closed. 1836 closed. And what about taxiway Bravo closed east of runway 14? Let's open taxi diagram. And that's taxiway Bravo. Let's find taxiway Bravo. Where is it? I don't think we're going to need it because we are here, but Bravo is Delta Alpha, this is Bravo right here. Okay, so Bravo East of runway 14, runway 14 is here, Bravo East is this way, which is here, okay. is closed. So we don't need it. So it's, it's irrelevant because we're going to land here and make a right. Yep. Either here or here, so no. No, we're going to land on the right side, easier. Okay. Yeah. Both of them are in use, we're going to take the right side. Okay. And it looks like the air carrier ramp is uncontrolled. That also was on the aid. Okay. So it's uncontrolled on the airport? Uh, the air carrier ramp is uncontrolled. Air carrier. Which is here. That's where the big jets, uh, airlines are going. Right there. Yeah. Airlines. You got airlines, you got cargo, and you got us, which is general aviation. Okay? Yep. Okay, so let's review the uh, visual approach and back it up with uh, 3 2 right. Let's open up the ILS 3 2 right. Go ahead and set the frequencies. So we can back it up with it. Excellent. Okay, let's do the approach briefing. Okay. And what I like to do with the approach briefing is this. All right, so we have uh, Omaha. Correct.
correct. ILS the localizer runway 3 to right. Okay. Frequency is 111.15. Excellent. Let's go ahead and set it up here. One 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 switch one. and then we'll suit 111.15. 15. We're going to have it here on this side. Let's go ahead and on the Garmin 430, set the same thing there. Oh, I want 111.15. Oh. And flip the switch. Excellent. All right. I don't press over here. This one, this one. Hold on one second, I want to try something. Did I damn do it? Oh, the RX here. Oh, you just... Yeah, I'm trying to... Probably if, uh... One check, check. Push squelch, okay, it's good. Command to the Hotel Sierra, contact Minneapolis Center, 125.65, good day. 125.65, 900 Hotel Sierra, so long. Minneapolis. Good evening, uh, Minneapolis, uh, Pilatus, 900 Hotel Sierra, flight level 220, direct to Lantec intersection. 900 Hotel Sierra, Minneapolis Center, Roger. Okay, so we got that frequency. And we have inbound course. Inbound course is 321. 321. Okay, so the easiest way to set the inbound course to it's 321. It's going to be 100 so it's going to be almost the same thing. Yeah, yeah the easiest way to set normally 32 right for 321 is going to be here. You see that knob? And this is your side. We'll keep it there. I'll use it on my side. I'm gonna go nav oh, shit, my side. Alright, let's keep heading here for now. Way we to lose it and then we're gonna go three twenty one. When you're switching When you're switching you got three twenty one in there. And I'll do the same thing on mine. You can select uh, NAS back. Hold on. 321, hold on. 321 or 319? 321, right. Oh, this is 312. 310, 321. Air, approach course is 321. Excellent. 321, now you can select NAV again. And you're on the GPS. You can select this button here. And now you're going this way. You're good. And now I can do the same thing on my side, which is here. And I'll do 321 here for the inbound course for the ILS back it up, just like so. And then I can select nav back, and I'm back to GPS. GPS, GPS, nav is selected, direct to Lantac. We're good. See, now we set it up to the point where it's all set up. All we have to do is select nav, and we can back it up with the ILS. Okay, so we got that. ATIS has got pop out. DME is required. Radar is required. We got both DME and radar here, no problem. The lighting they have. And uh, let's see. Field elevation is 984. So pressurization control is at 180, uh, 984 plus 200, right there, about 1100 feet. Which is selected. And runway length is 8,500 feet, so you have plenty of uh, runway, okay? Yep. We'll do the visual approach, we'll back it up with the ILS 3-2 right. Frontier 725, contact And it's going to be a right turn off the runway, as we discussed here on the Correct. airport diagram. Yep. Uh, as yeah. far as MSA, we got over 25 nautical miles of the air, uh, the Vortac is 4,100, so... Okay, the Omar approach we can set that. I don't know if there's going to be another one before that. Uh, we're probably going to have something different, but let's, uh, let's set it up is. just in case. What is the approach? 120.1. 120.1. Let's have the approach set up there, too. You can have the tower in the uh, uh, ATIS, and then you can have the tower and the ground 21.9. So 32.1 here. Center, stand by. 
on the 430, right. and you can have ground 21.9, so you know what's ground. Then you should keep the 80s for now. Okay, we can get the 80s. Well, the 80s is fresh 20 minutes, so maybe they'll change it. But we have Papa for now. That's the only 80s we have to deal with. Okay, let's see. We're looking at about... 27 minutes to arrive, and we got one hour and 50 minutes of fuel, so plenty of fuel, no problem. Fuel, no problem at all. Beautiful, right over Des Moines. Okay, this is pretty much going to conclude the approach briefing, okay? And everything's set up. Okay? All right. We're good? Perfect.